Hello, my name is Father Toby Letak, and I'm the Associate Pastor at St. Margaret Mary in Omaha. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity for our parish to come together with Sacred Heart Parish to pray together this novena to the Sacred Heart. I was ordained on Saturday, June 4th, 2016, and for me, that's a very meaningful date. Uh, it's given me a sort of mission statement for my priesthood, and I'm sure as other priests would hear this, they would say they have the same mission, of course. In 2016, that was the year that Pope Francis had declared the Extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy, which speaks well to the importance of a priest for helping others to encounter God's mercy in a very particular way through the Sacrament of Reconciliation. That Saturday, June 4th, was the Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which speaks well for how a priest ought to entrust himself to Mary, uh, who's given as the mother of priests, to help that priest come to know Jesus more fully. And Saturday was the Immaculate Heart of Mary only because the day before, Friday, June 3rd uh, of that year, is the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Now, St. John Vianney said something that I'm sure many of you have heard before, that the priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus. And it's a good thing for us to reflect on as we're thinking about Jesus' sacred heart. What did St. John Vianney mean when he said that? Well, think about all the care that God puts into forming a man to become a priest, uh, creating him, uh, drawing him to himself in love and prayer, and for some priests at the early part of their life, for other priests later on in their life, um, preparing him, forming him, and ultimately preparing him to hear and receive that call to the priesthood and to respond in God's grace to follow it. And then through the process of seminary, seminary formation, ultimately leading up to ordination. And all of that care that God puts into this call for the man to become a priest, he does for you. Uh, St. John Vianney would say, you know, a priest is not a priest for himself, but he's a priest for you. Uh, God does all of this so that you can come to know and love God in a very particular way through the celebration of the sacraments, that you can know God's mercy and forgiveness through the sacrament of reconciliation, that you can know God's healing and grace and strength in moments of serious illness or at the moment of death, through the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, that you can know and encounter Jesus' love in a very particular way through the sacrament of the Eucharist when you receive Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity. All of this happens through the ministry of priests, and so the, priest is the love, priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus for you. Um, there's a great connection between the Eucharist and the devotion to the Sacred Heart which St. Margaret Mary heard from Jesus as he explained this devotion to her. As Jesus was asking that this feast of the Sacred Heart be established, he said this to her, I ask of thee that the Friday after the octave of Corpus Christi be set apart for a special feast to honor my heart by receiving communion on that day and making reparation to my heart by a solemn act in order to make amends for the indignities which it has received during the time it has been exposed on the altars. I promise thee that my heart shall expand itself to shed in abundance the influence of its love upon those who honor it thus and cause it to be honored. But you see in that the connection that Jesus makes between his sacred heart and the Eucharist. As he's asking for this feast to be established, he closely ties it to the celebration of the feast of Corpus Christi, which, as you know, is the day we celebrate Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity given to us in the Eucharist. And throughout the revelations of the Sacred Heart, Jesus refers to the sacrament of the Eucharist as the sacrament of his love. And so in these days, as we're preparing to celebrate the solemnity of the Sacred Heart, be mindful of this sacrament of love that God has given to you through the ministry of priests. But God wants to unite himself to you so strongly because of the love of his heart. He gives you his own body and blood, soul and divinity to receive uh, that you can come to know his love more deeply in your life his power in your life uh, through receiving his body and blood, soul and divinity into your own body. And thinking about that, let us pray together this novena to the Sacred Heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, Knock, and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and ask for the grace of.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name I ask the Father for the grace of... Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, and grant us the grace which we ask of you, through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>